This is Mike Hopkins, who is a NASA astronaut, and he spent 166 days in space, including time on the International Space Station. Now, we've had lots of questions in from kids around the world, and I have two that I have picked. The first question comes from Ava Atom, who we all know in New Zealand is an amazing YouTuber, science lover. And Ava wants to know, what is your favorite experiment that you've done in space? Okay, that's a great question. Actually, while I was on board the station for 166 days, we actually executed like 200 different experiments. And and those experiments are wide-ranging. A lot of the experiments involve astronauts. We're the guinea pigs. Uh, they're doing tests on us. Uh, some of the other experiments, I had one that I'll call spheres, and that's these uh, two satellites that uh, we could fly around inside the space station. And we actually used to do uh, competitions where the uh, kids could design um, control laws for these spheres, these satellites, and uh, they would have that competition, and the winners, we would actually uh, send the control laws up, the astronauts would load them into these spheres, and we'd actually get to see the, uh, the students' own uh, work controlling these satellites inside the International Space Station. So I thought that was a pretty neat experiment out there. Pretty cool. Okay, second question we have comes from Adam Olver, who's in the UK. He wants to know, how do you control yourself in zero gravity? What was it like the first time you looked back at Earth from yeah, space? Adam, that's a, so, when I first got to space, Adam, I didn't control myself very well at all. Um, it's actually a little challenging to get used to floating around in microgravity. And so you, it doesn't take much. You just push off a little bit from the wall, and you'll go zooming across one of the modules. And the problem is, when you first get there, if you push off in the in the wrong way or a little too hard, and all of a sudden you go crashing into a hatch, and I did that quite a bit in the first couple of weeks. So it took me a little bit to get used to that microgravity environment. Uh, but then what's amazing about it is you get really good at it, and you realize that it just takes a very small force to be able to move around the space station. And the neat thing about it is you can go in any kind of orientation that you want. And so that was a lot of fun. What was it like to look down at the Earth for the first time? Uh, you know, I kept pinching myself when I first got up there because I couldn't believe that it was actually happening. And quite frankly, I've been back on Earth now for, for almost four years, and uh, I still can't believe that it actually happened. So it is uh, it's amazing to see the Earth from that vantage point. Point, and it makes you really appreciate this planet that we live on. I'm going to sneak in a final question, something I've learned okay. from you today. Yeah. Space walk. Right. I just figured you throw in a space suit, you head out the door, it's good. How long does it take to actually do a space suit? Yeah, unfortunately it's not that quick. Uh, to, to get into your space suit and get all of your equipment on and get into the airlock and actually get out the door, uh, it usually takes between five and a half, maybe six hours before you're actually starting your work outside uh, doing that spacewalk, working on the outside of the space station. And so, you know, you think about that, you got five and a half, six hours, then you're outside for seven hours, and then when you come in, again, it's not like the movies, you don't just get that spacesuit off in a, in a couple of minutes. It usually takes another couple hours to get out of the spacesuit, and you have to clean it, and, and then, uh, so it makes for a very long day, but it's a very rewarding day as well. Thank you so much for your time today. Everybody, this is Nessa Ashton, my colleague. Bye. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.